Let me just preface by saying that if you're someone that's here for a professional <laughs> level indoor pond thingy, this is not that video. I am a newbie. This is the first pond I've ever made. So it is very, very basic, very, very simple, not super professional looking, I'll be honest, except for one thing which I had to purchase to make this. It was all made from things I have around my house. There are no critters inside of this, only plants. And that is exactly how I want it. Maybe one day I'll venture into the world of like keeping fish and things like that. But for now, I'm just not comfortable. So <laughs> we're gonna stick with plants. Can't really go wrong there. Anyway, okay, let's just get into it. So first off, I started off with this it's a 16 inch plastic planter. I got this at Lowe's and it was pretty inexpensive. And again, 16 inches. I don't know how tall it is, but diameter, 16 inches. When I was looking for a container for this, the only things that I really was looking for was I didn't want something porous where water was going to like leach through. So I didn't want terracotta. I also knew I didn't want something like ceramic because it would be super heavy to move around if it ever came to that. The last thing is I didn't want there to be a drainage hole. And I also didn't want there to be one of those drainage holes that they plug up. Um, I just didn't want to risk water leaking out even though there is a plug. So I just stuck to those three things and this is the planter I ended up with. So very, very first, I did know that I wanted there to be like a shelf kind of a thing or like actual house plants to sit on so that they weren't going to rest at the very bottom of the container. I wanted them to be a little bit higher like coming out of the planter because I looked into getting like cool grapevine wood or driftwood to do like an accent thing in it, but that stuff is just so expensive to me and I have a really hard time letting myself spend money on that. So I was like, you know what, I'll just use plants and then they'll grow up, get bigger. You know, that can kind of be like what your eye goes to, if that makes sense. Instead of spending money on wood, why not just use plants I already have? So to make this little shelf, I just had this, this like plastic mesh, which I actually took off of a moss pole that came with a plant I bought a while ago that I don't use and have never used. I figured I might as well put it to use. I just hot glued the mesh mesh onto one side of the planter um, about two thirds of the way up, glued down one side and then glued down the other. And now it's just kind of like a little hammock. My plants just get a rest in a hammock. That honestly was like the hardest part of this whole thing. Once that was on, I moved it into my bedroom onto this table, which is where it will be living because I wanted it to be under my Soltec Solutions grow light which it is, so it'll get really good light in here. I positioned it so that that hammock thing I put in is against the wall so that my plants will be able to like kind of climb up the wall. And then I put in my filter waterfall thing. Next, I picked the plants I wanted to put in here. So I did do this Syngonium Renoir, I think is what it is. Um, I have a Syngonium Pink Splash, a Syngonium Wendlandii, there's a Begonia Soli Mutata, Monstera Oblica, cute little Ripsalis fern things that were growing in my Alocasia Fry deck. I just pulled some of them out and used them in here as well. And I took all of my plants out of their pots and took as much of the substrate off of the roots as I could with my hands. And once I got as much as I could off, just like with my hands, I rinsed them off under the water to get anything else that would just come off easily. I didn't like force it too much. I just wanted majority of it off because I don't want the water to get like too super dirty. I kind of positioned my plants onto the hammock. I started with the largest plant, which is the Syngonium Renoir right here. I kind of weaved the roots through the mesh so that it it like kind of held itself in in the mesh, if that makes sense. The mesh, when I started to fill it up with water, it was kind of like sagging. So I ended up putting a Taco Bell cup under it to help prop it up and that worked like a charm. Um, I did that a little bit later in the video, but I'm just letting you know now that is something I did have to adjust after, after I got all the plants in and got it filled up with water. I just like wove the roots through the mesh and with each other so that they would kind of help prop each other up, which, okay, I know I'm fully aware they look a little bit awkward right now, but as they grow in and kind of situate themselves, they're going to hold themselves up so much better. It's going to be so cool. And I do think it looks pretty good right now for how minimal effort this took, but like in a month, in two months, it's going to it's gonna look awesome. So I'm really excited for that. So yeah, I just put all the plants in there and then filled the thing up with water. I am worried I might've made a mistake here, but I did just fill it up with tap water, but I do just use tap water for like propagations and even watering my plants. So I kind of thought it was okay. I don't know if that was a mistake or not, but that's what I did. And then I added the aquatic plants that I found at the store. So the plants I got to add in here were water lettuce, 
Salvinia minima, Amazon frogbit, and duckweed. And those are all the plants I used in here. And I think it looks so good. I like really, really love it. So I, I was just kind of sitting here like staring at it. And you know, something just felt a little bit off. The water pump thing wasn't sitting like completely flat on the ground. So it was kind of tilted. And the water flow was just a little like off. It was, it was fine, it wasn't a huge deal, but the more I looked at it, the more I was like, okay, that's really awkward. I ended up putting some large river rocks on top of the higher end of the pump to help hold it down, like so it was flush on the ground. So now it, now it flows a lot more evenly, but in hindsight, I wish I would have added like sand to the bottom of the planter, or when I was shopping for planters, I wish I would have got one that had a more level bottom. So the level, the bottom of this one kind of goes like this and then it like dips down on the sides, which again, not like a huge deal. And even if it's flowing a little bit sideways, like it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but yeah, the river rocks did the trick. Now it sits much more level and I freaking love it. I love it. Okay, like I said, I know this is not everybody's cup of tea, but it was so, so easy. I think these plants are really going to love it. Um, Syngonium do well in water anyway. They're just gonna take off. So I did put plants in here that I want to take off that I thought would, that I thought would just, you know, go everywhere, be wild, so. Stay tuned for that. I will give you an update on this a little bit later on. I hope that this video was like, I don't know, it's it's not a tutorial so much as it is me showing you how simple this was to make. And yes, it's not like professional expert level quality. I am very well aware of that, but I love it. And for how easy it was to do for someone who I'm not dumb, but I'm also not like really smart either. So that just goes to show you how easy this was to do. And you end up with a really cool way to display some plants. That's just not like, like, yeah, you can put your plants, I could put these plants in planters, but they're beautiful, but this just really stands out, you know? Like, I, I think it's cool. I like to have a lot of different things going on. We've talked about that before on my channel. So yeah, I wanna know what you think of this. If you have any tips, comments, concerns, questions, anything, please leave a comment down below. So far, it's holding up just fine. It's been a few days and everything is looking good. It was super inexpensive to do. So if you wanna try something like this, like, just, do it, you know, and just like use what you already have around the house and make it work. I mean, obviously I had to buy a pump, so worth it. And I can, you know, I can always add more plants in there if I decide I want to. I am really interested to hear what you think of it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye! The planter pong thing, pond. Wow, my muscle looks really ripped. Oh, what? I have a mirror right here. Did you guys see that? Okay.